firefighters in South Africa are under immense pressure to control ravaging fires in the coastal areas of the country. Our local authorities have attributed the fire to climate change, which has since caused a lot of damage. Let's have more details of that in this report. In the Western Cape, firefighting teams are stretched to their limits and residents are on high alert as wildfires rage. Currently, we do have uh, two active lines. Uh, the line concerned for us now at, at this stage is Division Bravo. So at this stage, uh, no air resources can be used due to uh, conditions that are not favorable. We do have a lot of resources to ensure structure protection and safety of all the residents. This is one of the houses that was completely burnt down in this area called Sea Farms. There are another three farms that did burn down over here. And the problem has shifted to over the mountain where there's still an active fire. I spoke to Minister of Local Government and Environment Affairs, Anton Bradell, who attributes these fires to climate change. Because of climate change and because what has happened in the winter month, uh, we had a very wet winter. So I warned them and I said that we expect that we've got a huge fuel load because of the, the rain, good raining season. And if you add to that the warmer, drier temperatures in the summer, we're in trouble. We've got 120 men and women on this fire with helicopters, etc. But the wind changes all the time, so it's difficult circumstances. Residents remain on high alert and ready to evacuate, but the wind is what determines the next move. This is Pringle Bay. The wind can change by the minute. So we don't know what to expect. We just had a message from our mayor in the River Strand and she just sent out a broadcast that it must be evacuated. Uh, people must be on standby and ready to go. Firefighters remain on the scene here in the Overstrand municipality. The fire that started in Pringle Bay has spread now to Betty's Bay. Situation is very tense. Residents do not know yet if they'll have to evacuate. There are helicopters on the scene but there's still an uncertainty of where this fire will go to.